and also it's about sometimes some airports i can say for igi because i have given that exam for airport job so i uh, i know their qualification must be graduate they should have communication skill they should have knowledge about aviation and i personally go for uh, gone for that exam i don't know anything about aviation and i was like okay i have to answer these question they was very deep questions but i still go through them and i marked them so there was a requirement that you should be fluent in english because they uh, there's exam so if a person is doesn't know english and doesn't know about anything because i know person i have studied about travel industry so i knew it that i can go for it and also maths there was a trigonometry questions which is required for aviation industry kind of engineering thing so i personally studied uh, maths till 12 so i i did it because i know it but there are some people who choose arts and science uh, arts and other subjects so maybe they are not able to clear that so they should check before syllabus exam and everything before going this it's a basic rule when you are applying for a job you should read the job description and know about the company very good explanation good thank you that you would like to give to new applicants first be confident if whatever it is a job you should be confident you should not get uh, nervous about any question whatever you know if you don't know you just simply say i don't know but you if you have a little information about that you can suggest that that i don't know about this but i have read about this topic and i know about this as if i know about the travel industry and airline person not personally experienced that but i have read i have theoretical knowledge that's what i told and i have presented in my presentation so whatever you will say with confidence even the interviewer doesn't know he will believe you even the other person don't know he will believe you just make sure you should be more confident than him well while you are explaining anything but rashleen the interviewer is not uh, like lunatic he'll analyze you somewhere like i was listening to you okay but i grasp the negative part i left the positive part for some time but i grasp the negative part that the interviewer would not uh, mind if you are uh, confident and you will speak anything you cannot always be yeah always yeah, I, be i know that side. but in the know the, in facts, the industry then speak. Yes. yeah in the airport industry your confidence will matter most when you are handling the customers handling angry angry uh, customers and everything yeah, even in the immigration officer every, yes. you will in the immigration officer i know they will ask you questions uh, difficult questions to make you uh, in nervous or kind if you are doing something wrong and they caught you that you are duplicate of something and have some kind of uh, doubt on you then they will be sure that uh, they will act like they are confident and that's for me the confidence refle reflects your personality and you should be confident and obviously passionate about your work that's what interview will see you that you know how to convince someone to get hired for you, hire you obviously interview uh, obviously uh, focus on our negative things if where we are lacking what are uh, we are saying because when we are interviewing we we are also nervous and we the spoke so many things randomly but one thing is you should be enough uh, active while speaking and listening to the interview because when whenever he asks the question he make sure what he wants to listen Who wants to listen the negative part or the positive part? So, uh, what are the what are the airlines hiring nowadays? Uh, I personally search uh, Vistara and Singapore Airlines, and also Qatar Airways. Emirates are hiring for engineers. I don't know; they are still hiring because they are hiring till Feb. and uh, but they are not hiring for cabin crew services any of their line right now but they are hiring for finance department or engineers uh, for back end engineers and developers and 
this kind of uh, hiding is still going on. Very good. So you have, I would say, you have started, you know, this topic in depth. Now, obviously, if I am doing something, I am making presentation, so I should know about that topic as well. Because what's matter? It will just enhance my knowledge about this.